Hi, I'm Paula from MemakeyThings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a frilly loopy felt flower. Now I have a couple of examples here. This one was done uh, by sewing and this one was done with a glue gun. Um, it, this one, I don't like this one as much and that probably has more to do with my glue gun technique than the actual I mean, I think you can make pretty ones with a glue gun. I've seen them. I'm just not as good at it as I am with sewing and I prefer that method. So, um, but the, the basic method is the same. I'll just show you the difference uh, on how to use a glue gun. But what you wanna do is take a long strip of fabric. This one is about two inches by about eight inches. And you wanna fold it in half. And you're gonna to wanna to take some scotch tape here and just tape that together otherwise it is not going to stay very well oops Okay, then what you're going to do is take your scissors and you're going to cut um, just about a little more than halfway down and you're cutting these kind of long loopy things here, here like that. You're just cutting and this is how, how uh, these are all your petals that you're making here. And the thinner and longer, the frillier and loopier. Takes a little bit of time to get all the way down the length of this. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, now I have all my little loops made. And what I wanna do is roll this up. And some people do it by hand, I'm just rolling this. And actually, this is where I take the tape off. Some people leave it on, but I don't. I think if you glue it with a glue gun, it's not that hard. Boy, that tape wants to stick on there. Hmm. That piece isn't coming off very well for me. I'll just leave that middle piece on. Okay, so you can just roll it by hand. And sometimes I like to just, uh, I like to look at the top of it. That way I can see uh, how even I'm getting it. But some people like to stick something in there like this skewer so that they have something to roll onto. And it helps also keep it nice and tight. What you want to do is keep the bottom of it nice and flat because if you if you roll it uh, if it starts to um, kind of wind down into itself it's not going to work very well. I really want that tape off there. Okay, I'm gonna unroll that a little bit because I don't like what it's doing. See how it's kind of sliding up in there? Uh, 
you don't want it to do that. You want to keep these two uh, pieces together here, which is why I find it easier to roll it with roll it by hand. But you can try either method and find out what works the best for you. This way, if it starts, if the two sides start to slide apart, I can kind of slide them back together with my thumb there. And just like any craft that you do, practice will make you better at it. Okay, now I ended up with that a little bit uneven. But there you see, start to see the shape taking form. Now if you're gluing it, you can just glue it down right there and you'd be done with kind of a tight little flower like that. What I like to do is take a needle and thread and come through this one side and you wanna make sure you go through all of your layers because if you don't get all of your layers, it tends to pop out the middle too much. So I want to kind of pull it down there so it kind of puckers up together and that kind of helps the flower bloom just a little bit. And then you want to do it in kind of an X pattern there from the other side. And that's going to kind of pull it out just a little bit and help it to bloom. And then you would just tie it off there. And this one here had a little bit longer loops on it, so that's why it's a little bit, a little bit bigger. But that is how you make a frilly, loopy felt flower. I'm Paula from MeMakeyThings.com. Have a great day.